Hey guys! Recently I was contacted by Pots and Petals. They wanted to send a box of orchids and they wanted us to open that box with you guys. So I was told that there are orchids in this box but I think they have sent something else as well. So I'm super excited to open this box. So let's dig in. I think I'm going to open this box first. Alright, so we have a couple of orchids here. One thing I must mention about them is that they sent these yesterday because they sent me a mail saying that we're sending you this box and I received it today. My major major problem with online shopping, be it bags, shoes or whatever, is that you know you have to wait for your thing to come. So that sort of kills the excitement but it's great if you can buy online and get it right the next day so I think that's a great thing all right they have sent them with these baths so this will keep them alive for a couple of days even if I don't pot them let me get all of them out Now I'm going to open this next package. I think this is soiled because it feels like it. Let me see what it is. Oh, so it's cold. I think inside the cold they have packaged something else as well. Oh, so I think they have sent me the entire orchid kit. This says nutrient booster for orchids, banana, cardamom, roses, grow XL. These are orchid pots. The coconut chips. And there's charcoal of course. Now before I put these plants in these pots, I would like to tell you a couple of things about orchids. See orchids are plants that do not really require soil. They just need a medium which gives them a little bit of nutrient, also allows air circulation and holds on a little bit of moisture. So you do not need the typical soil, the garden soil that we use. This soil or their potting mix is generally charcoal. Why charcoal? Because it's very humid and in humid conditions what happens is that um, decaying and decomposition starts happening because of which you get these very not so nice smells and odors. So to absorb all these toxins that may smell and all the bad things that come out of decomposition. Charcoal, activated charcoal is a great, great product that absorbs all of that bad things that would be coming out from the potting mix. And the other thing that we add is coconut chips. Now you can use bark as well instead of this. It depends upon the humidity conditions of your area. Now if you stay in some place which is extremely humid, you don't need a medium that holds on to a lot of water. In that case, you can go with bark. You can buy bark from nurseries or you could just collect a lot of bark from outdoors. If in your place it's not very humid, you are staying in places like around Delhi or Bangalore, you can use these coconut chips because they have the ability to hold on to a moisture a little more than the bark. You know, I have also seen people using pebbles in this potting mix. You can use pebbles. The only thing is pebbles will not hold any moisture and you will have to give a lot of water and spray a lot of water many times in a day. So in general in India, I would recommend that depending on the kind of moisture conditions we have, coconut chips are a great thing. So if you want, you can order an orchid kit like they sent me here and I'm going to put it all together. So we're going to add a little bit of charcoal at the base, some coconut chips, and we just take our plant and just fill the rest of the space. They're actually quite easy to put together. Alright, so I've cleaned up my mess. 
Now, my general feedback or my general review about them is first about the plant quality. I think they have been in transit for a day or a little more than a day, but they have turned out just fine. There are no dead leaves and they look quite healthy and in good shape. So I like the plants. The second thing about the price, I checked that all of this costs 800 rupees. It's a part of a kit called Beginner's Kit of Dendrobium. I think it's pretty sweet deal for 800 rupees. It includes the plants, all five of them, the charcoal, the coconut chips, and also the plant food. As for the question, would I buy them or not? Definitely I would buy them. I mean, come on, it's really good. So that's all I have about them. Before I leave, I also want to mention that these videos that we do of unboxing are unsponsored videos, which means nobody's actually paying me to say good or bad things about anyone. All that they do is they ask if they can send something, if I can unbox it and if I can review it. It's totally up to me to say if I like them or not. So you don't have to worry about, you know, if this is a sponsored video, I would be saying good things. It's not like that. Nobody's paying anybody anything. There's no money involved. It's just somebody sending something and if I like it, I say I like it. If I don't like it, I say I don't like it. That's all I have for today's video. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Thanks for watching.